Hi everybody, it's Tony and I'm back with another video today. It is Saturday, November 19th. I hope you're having a great weekend so far. I'm just sitting here watching the Michigan game and I, I just decided I was going to make a video because I had an amazing short-term victory yesterday. And that really got me thinking about victories in general. I know when a lot of people are overweight, maybe they're 300, 400, 600 plus pounds, they really start to think about how much work it's going to be to get all this weight off. Because let's face it, you didn't gain all that weight in a day. It took you years to, to get to the weight that you are today. Um, and so just, just thinking about all the hard work, the years, the tears, the sweat and blood that you're going to have to shed in order to get this weight off, it can seem insurmountable. It can seem like so many obstacles are in your way. And it's just much easier to give up and say, you know what, I, I'm just... I don't have the energy for it. I, I'm not going to do it. But let me tell you, there's going to be a lot of short-term victories that are going to be amazing that you don't even realize you're going to reach. Um, so I'm going to tell you about what happened to me yesterday. Um, you guys know if you watch my videos, I, had, I did a one-month check-in. And, and by the way, I'm back down to 555 this morning. I, I just stepped on it because I, I, I wanted to see if it was water weight and it was and it's gone so uh, I'm back down to where I was um, so now I'm gonna start my not stepping on it every day thing um, but yesterday my mom and I went to the store and and so I was sitting there while I was waiting for her in my truck and I'm like you know what I'm gonna see if I can get my seatbelt on and let me tell you, I have not worn a seatbelt, and I know some of you are, are going to like scrutinize me or whatever, but I have not worn a seatbelt in four years because I was so big, it just would not fit. And, and I remember when I first got my truck, um, my stomach was so overlapping the steering wheel, like it, it was almost difficult to drive. I was still able to drive it. I was able to move the seat all the way back so I can get in it. Like getting into a vehicle when you're 600 plus pounds is hard to do but now there's a big gap between my belly and the steering wheel i can move it around easily and as i continue to lose weight i was like you know what i'm gonna see if i can put my seatbelt on and i did it it I, it took me a minute but i got it in it clicked and i was so excited because i haven't worn a seatbelt in four years and it's kind of scary to drive without a seatbelt. i got a ticket a few years ago because i was pulled over for you know, I was going five over and, you know, overzealous cop or whatever. Of course, I wasn't wearing a seatbelt because it wouldn't fit. And so he gave me a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt. But it's scary in the wintertime because you never know when you're going to lose control and just not wearing a seatbelt. But yesterday it fit for the first time in four years. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of short-term victories, a lot of goals that you can reach that you don't even realize are goals, things that are going to fit you that couldn't fit you before, places you can go that you haven't been able to go to. Seatbelts are going to be able to fit. Um, there's just a lot of things that you don't even realize are ahead of you that, that are going to excite you and motivate you to keep going. And now that I can wear a, a, a seatbelt, now that I've moved my seat back up, like those are small things. But those amount to huge victories that, that you don't even realize are ahead of you along the way. So you don't have to think about, oh, I got 300 pounds to lose. That's going to take years. No, think about, wow, I can fit in my vehicle again. I can put a seatbelt on. I can wear smaller clothes. I can do. I, I, I can walk a little further. I, I can maybe start exercising more. I can actually go to the gym. People are noticing things that that are different about me and, and how i look and i look better than i did before and you know so many compliments when i go to church wow wow tony you know your your, your clothes just fit so much looser on you you look like you're, you're wearing a dress and you know just, just good comments from from people are, are really exciting and they're going to motivate you to keep going and to keep fighting and i know yesterday from uh, sean of steel he was talking about how um, you know, he's, what, 19 pounds away from no longer being considered morbidly obese. And that's really motivated him. And he's, he's really going to start working out harder. So, you know, there's going to be things along the way as you go, as you progress, that are just going to be absolutely amazing that you never thought you'd be able to do again. So I, I really hope that this motivates you. Like, if you want to lose weight, you can do it. It's not about all or nothing. You don't have to have that mentality. 
It's lose a little bit of weight and just see how much it impacts your life. It will dramatically. I'm telling you, start today. Just start small. Start with a, just removing some calories. Stop drinking soda. Whatever you got to do, just start small. And once you start having some of those victories, it's going to motivate you to want to keep going. So I hope that this video helped motivate you today. Me being able to wear a seatbelt for the first time in four years is just amazing to me. Now I feel much safer driving. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday. I might make another reaction video. That was my most viewed video of me reacting to Steven Asante. I might do another Steven one or I might do another My 600 Pound Life uh, character. But um, anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday and God... All right, we had to run back to the store. My mom needed me to pick up a prescription. So here we are in my truck. Seatbelt is on and it's clicked on there. And there is some give to it too. It's not like it's choking me or stuck or anything. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty excited here. I, I'm able to wear my seatbelt. I just thought I'd make a quick clip to add it to the end of my video here. All right, thank you. God bless you.